Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. Welcome to the soldier's porch on the back of the recreated barracks at historic Fort Wayne, Detroit. We say thanks to the historic Fort Wayne Coalition for giving us access to shoot here. And today we're going to talk to you about something that soldiers during the Civil War, whether volunteers or at the beginning or later regular soldiers in the 19th U.S. Infantry Company D, probably did right here, and that is maintain their muskets. We've already done an episode about how to clean the inside based on the ordnance manual, but it didn't say a lot about the outside. The soldiers didn't necessarily get items from the government to do this, but they could make a purchase from the sutler. One of the things they could purchase is rotten stone. Come on in, join me, and let's learn about how to do this. <clears throat> All right, so if we're gonna use rotten stone, we better figure out what it is and where we can get it from. So first of what? Rotten stone is a mix of weathered limestone and diatomaceous earth ground into a powder. This becomes an abrasive, which will help you clean metal surfaces like the outside of your musket barrel and metal fixtures or the brass of the buttons of your coat. Where do you get it? Soldiers back then weren't issued this. This is something they could purchase to maintain their equipment from the regimental sutler or the post sutler. In my case, I went to Comer's Gunworks, a vendor in the Living History Hobby, to go ahead and get this. It comes in a small tin and is powdered and ready to go. What are we going to need? We need our rotten stone, we need some water, and we need a rag. So I've got a cotton rag here, I've got the rotten stone, and we'll take a little water out of the canteen into a cup. And from here, it's really quite simple. Now, I'll go ahead and give away a little bit. My musket hasn't always been the best cared for piece. So as we take the middle band away, we can see where I've got some surface rust that I need to deal with. This is gonna be a really good spot to see what the rotten stone can do. I'll just take a little of the rag, dip it in the water, and then I'll take that dip it in the rotten stone and work it right on and use it to polish the metal. And all I'm doing is using the paste that's made between the rotten stone and the water as an abrasive and I'm rubbing it carefully on the exposed metal. And I can already see an improvement here. All right, so we've done a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a clean portion of the rag and just wipe this off. We're doing a little bit of fine buffing at the same time, but we're also getting the rotten stone off of the surface of the metal. Considering how bad that was, that's not bad for a first pass. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more. Again, to review, I'm just going to dip it in the water. Now, if you notice, I'm holding the rotten stone either over the table or over the bench or over the ground. I'm not holding it over my clothing. Last thing I want to do if I'm trying to clean my musket is go ahead and make a mess out of my uniform trousers and then go have to clean them. So be a little cautious here. And this is really what soldiers would have done in their downtime. Take care of that musket that you've been issued. You didn't get issued supplies by the government. You may have to purchase some yourself from the sutler. Rotten stone is just one example of the abrasives available, but it's an example that's regularly available to us today. And as I carefully wipe the paste that I've made off, I can already start to see an improvement. And as I'm working my way out from this area out on the weapon, I can also see that the rest of the barrel is taking on a better shine. So if you're at a living history event, this is something you can spend a decent part of your day doing and doing what the soldiers did. So I'm gonna continue to work on this and gonna take my not so well cared for musket and get it ready for inspection out on the parade ground later on today. Thanks for spending your time with us at Civil War Digital Digest. 
Hope you enjoy being in this historic location and hope between that and learning a little bit about Rotten Stone, you gain a better connection to what it was to be a soldier during the American Civil War. We'll see you soon.